Today, we're going to look closely at a couple pages from the Dune comic book and discuss some of the details about how these pages were put together. For those of you familiar with Dune, this is the hunter-seeker scene. The first thing to notice is the overall layout of the page. A thin horizontal panel, followed by a larger vertical panel, split into four sub-panels, and then another thin horizontal panel, followed by a larger panel, this time split into five vertical sub-panels. This juxtaposition of horizontal and vertical panels emphasizes the danger in the scene, and these small slivered views have the effect of slowing down time. As we make the area of these panels smaller and smaller, we are compressing time into smaller intervals. Paul is being hunted, and he has very little time to think and react. We're going to talk about time in more detail, but first I want to talk about color. The top three panels all show Paul from the same perspective. The top panel has the deep purple color, which is the royal color of the palace. This panel reminds us of why Paul is being hunted, because he is the Duke's son. The middle panel has a more naturalistic background, the color of the wall in Paul's bedroom. This panel roots the viewer, gives us a sense of place. And the third panel has a dark background. This is the moment of greatest danger for Paul, when the hunter-seeker is right about to find him. This is a great technique that you can use in a comic book that really doesn't work in other media. If this were a film and you were to edit between these panels, the shifting background color would be very jarring. And the effect of the layout, the thin horizontal and vertical bands, isn't possible in film where you have one screen size. Now, let's take a look at the panel where Paul is being hunted in more detail. I love this kind of panel. The time represented by this panel is the time it takes the seeker to fly the route that's drawn out maybe three to five seconds. However, by adding the gutters and dividing the panel into four sub-panels, the artist is giving us an indication of dividing the time. But the artist is not dividing the action. In other words, we don't have four representations of Paul at these four different moments in time. The use of the gutters here breaks up the time, giving us the sense that Paul, moment by moment, is thinking about what to do, even though he is standing still. In this way, this panel encompasses two time frames at once, both describing the action of the seeker flying around the room and describing Paul's moment-by-moment -moment observation of and potential reaction to the seeker that's hunting him. The final panel breaks time up into smaller increments, alternating between the door opening and the seeker's reaction to the movement in the room. This provides a nice design from a color perspective. Note that the background of the seeker is the vibrant purple, the royal color. This visually balances the use of this color at the top of the page and also reminds us of the seeker's target. The next page completes the action. We have three panels, or really two, since the action in the middle panel is not constrained. It has no gutters around it. In this case, it is almost taking place out of time. It gives the sense that Paul's leaping and grabbing of the seeker takes place almost instantaneously. Also notice that the background is the white of the paper. The action is taking place outside of a panel even outside of a background. The white of this scene, when Paul escapes from danger, contrasts with the black background used in the panel where Paul was in the most danger. Dune, the graphic novel, is beautifully conceived and illustrated by Raoul Allen and Patricia Martin. You can learn a lot about the art of comics by looking closely at this graphic novel. 